Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Today, I would like to discuss about accounting for bad debt. There are two methods to record accounting for bad debt. Number one, direct write-off method. And number two, allowance method. So, first of all, you must know what is the meaning of uncollectible receivable? When a debtor is unable to pay his debt after the due date of credit term, an uncollectible receivable will be classified as bad debt. What is meant by bad debt? A car receivable that is not collected after the due date of credit terms. The factors of bad debts A. Bankruptcy of a debtor B. The debtor is insane C. The death of the debtor D. The debtor disappeared So, we have to record a bad debt expenses under operating expenses in the income statement. Accounting for bad debts. There are two methods to record accounting for bad debts. Number one, allowance method. And number two, direct rights of method. Under allowance method, there are two ways to record for bad debts. Number one, percentage of receivables. And number two, percentage of sales. We will discuss later in the next video. Account for bad debts. Number one, direct rights of method. Account receivables are written off and bad debt expenses is recorded. When the company determines that it will never collect from a specific customer, once an account receivable is returned off, the company stops pursuing the collection. We have to record in the general entry for rights of account receivable. So, we have to debit bad debt expenses because the expenses increase and we have to credit account receivable because write of account receivable will reduce the amount of account receivable. The second method, allowance method. A method of accounting for uncollectible and estimate bad debts at the end of the accounting period. The offset to the expense is a contract account called allowance for doubtful debts. The allowance for doubtful debts account reduces account receivable. Allowance method, there are two basic ways to estimate uncollectibles. Number one, percentage of receivable and number two, percent, percentage of sales. And this is the adjusting entry for bad debt expenses under allowance method. You have to create the adjusting entry. Debit bad debts and credit allowance for doubtful debts. Allowance for doubtful debts is a contract to account receivable. Now, we look at the difference between direct right of methods and allowance method, or other words, direct right of methods versus allowance method. Number one. Under direct right of method, the company determined that it will not able to collect debts from customer and must write off an uncollectible account. 
and the allowance method. The company estimates that debts at the end of accounting period by using two methods. Number one, percentage of receivables. Number two, the percentage of credit sales. Under direct right of method, it is used only by small and non-public companies. But under allowance method, most companies use the allowance method to measure bad debts. The allowance method is based on expenses recognition and revenue recognition because this is the concept to record bad tax expenses in the same period as the sales revenue. Under direct write off method, there is no adjusting entry to be recorded. But for under allowance method, there is adjusting to record bad debts, debit bad debts, and credit allowance for doubtful debts. Okay, under the right of method, when we want to record a right of an uncollectible account, debit bad debt expenses and credit account receivable to record a right of uncollectible account. But under allowance method, when you want to write off an uncollectible account, debit allowance for doubtful debt and credit account receivable. This is the situation when the company use allowance methods when allowance for doubtful debt account had created in the previous year. Under direct write off method, when that debt recover in the future, so the first adjustment debit account receivable credit bad debt recovery to reinstate previously written off and debit cash and credit account receivable. But under allowance method, when bad debt recovered in the future, debit account receivable, we have to open the account receivable and credit allowance for doubtful debt. This is to record bad debt recovery and after that debit cash because we receive cash from the customer and credit account receivable because we want to close the account receivable that have made the payment. That's all for accounting for bad debt for both method, direct write-off method and allowance method. Don't forget to watch next video, accounting for bad debt, direct write-off method. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.